Good morning. So here is a brilliant little story uh, of just how powerful our minds are when we actually give them the right instruction. So tonight I am taking part in a podcast and one of the things we're going to be discussing is Matthew Walker's book on why we sleep. Um, sometimes I can be a little bit of a last minute monkey. I bought this book months ago on Audible. So last night I decided that in prepare, preparation for tonight, I'm gonna to listen to just the first chapter as I got to bed. And one of the things he talks about is how many people actually wake up on their own in the morning without an alarm clock, without copious amounts of caffeine. Most of us don't wake up uh, at a time when we feel like we naturally want to and, and what's going on there. So it's an interesting provocation this whole idea, you know, when was the last time you woke up at or around the time your alarm was gonna go off, just totally naturally, feeling fully slept and refreshed. So I listened to chapter one. I then set my alarm for 6.45 because I went to a networking event this morning, a breakfast event. I woke up at 6.43, feeling totally awake and ready for the day. Now, you could choose to believe that's a coincidence, but I normally wake up about 7.30 in the morning and I was ready. I was absolutely ready at 6.43, wide awake, ready to go. I choose to believe that I'd programmed my unconscious mind to give me the optimum amount of sleep, waking up at the optimum time for my day to be successful. How different is that to if you were instructing your mind with things like, oh, I always feel tired in the morning. Oh, I've got a dreadful day tomorrow. I always oversleep. I hate it when the alarm goes off. I hit the snooze button. I mean, what a dramatically different way to think. Just believing that you're gonna wake up at a certain time and have a great day ahead of you. So um, I just wanted to share that because I think it's a great metaphor. What else in life could that apply to? All the things that we think about and we think you know, the thoughts we're having are not entirely positive and not entirely supporting. And guess what experience we have? Whereas when we have a really clear, intended, positive, uh, self-fulfilling thought about what we can have in our lives, it can come true. Amazing. How are you gonna harness your thinking today to create exactly what you want?